it's me again uh hopefully here with something that may interest you so i've been missing out on a little bit of imaging time because some targets just go too high in the sky and onstep has a default altitude maximum of 80 degrees i think that's to well in my case it's to keep my ota from crashing into my tripod so what's the cure for that a pier extension so i went to aliexpress looked around and i found something that looked like it would work had the right size screw holes everywhere and a little cut out for the little nubby thing that sticks up on my mount for the azimuth controls and hopefully that will let me get higher in the sky and better images cost me 98 dollars to get it here let's take a look at it okay here we go my son asked me if i got a kilo of heroin i did not although that's probably the thing the only thing that's more expensive than telescope equipment they do wrap things substantially There we go. Feels very solid. Should fit right on my mount. My nub on my mount should go right in there. This should fit down in the hole. So this should be the same thread pitch as on my tripod. And this should be the same thread pitch as on the mount. They're different, so I made sure to order that. Eight inches. About four and seven eighths. So far, so good. I like the anodizing, it's pretty good. Let's attach it to the tripod. It comes with all this hardware. Should be plenty to attach it. So let's attach it. Okay, the attachment part. So obviously we have this long hole here which will go over the little nubby thing on the tripod I've also drilled and tapped another hole in my tripod because obviously I like to drill holes in my tripod so we take this and this goes in the indented part here and we tighten the tripod screw up this hole right here will line up with the hole I drilled and we'll put a screw in there tighten it up Hopefully that keeps the thing solid. So let's get it started. We'll tighten up the tripod screw before it gets totally tight. We'll try to get this one started. All right, that seems to be solid. Now we'll work on the next piece. I have the screw that goes down into the center hole. I have another screw over here that I started to come up the other way that will go in this one with the same idea as to keep it from twisting and making it as solid as possible. All right, that seems to be very solid. Just to make sure we'll give it the dad slap. That ain't going nowhere. 
and now last but not least the mount Glad I had to wait and wait for you. Okay, seems to be fairly sturdy. Guess we'll just get it out under the stars and make sure. Okay, yep, here's the old computer. Now I know, according to Dylan O'Donnell, us boomers, we can't quite figure out none of this newfangled computer stuff. But I'll do my best. And I guess I'll just have to give up on the stuff in my basement. I don't know. Anyway, so the old one. Core i3 had 8 gigs of DDR3 memory. We got two USB 3.0 on the front. Three USB 2s on the back. It came with a spinning hard drive, but I had a old 250 gig SSD sitting around, so I put that in it. Got Windows 10 Pro. So here is the new one. Core i5. 16 gigs of DDR4 has a cool red stripe on the front that at least makes it twice as fast so we got two USB 3's on the front and four on the back and this one actually came with an SSD 250 gig in it also has an M.2 slot so if I ever get a wild hair and want to throw in an NVMe drive or something to make it super speedy. Don't think I'll need that for what I'm using this for. I basically push all the pictures over the network to my NAS down in the basement. So we don't use much storage on this. Just starting up the program is about it. But it should be a little bit more snappy with more memory. Okay. Okay, well, I've had a few issues. I thought I looked in the config H file and it was set to the max altitude was 90 degrees. So I thought that's all I had to do. But when I hit 80 degrees here, everything stopped. It stopped guiding. All kinds of alarms went off. So I looked at the actual website for OnStep, the controller, the web controller, and the max altitude was set to 80. So I changed it to 90, started everything back up. Um, we're actually at about 85 degrees right now. This Target I'm shooting is supposed to hit 87 tonight before the flip. So we'll watch everything. I got the GoPro running on the mount, so we'll take a look at that in a minute. Make sure everything is working good. Nothing hits anything. Although I have noticed the closer I get to the meridian, the worse my guiding seems to be right at the moment. Maybe I should take my weights off of the mount. I don't know. I just have one little weight on the mount for the refractor. The smoke is no longer around right at the moment, so that's good. And I am shooting with the dual narrow band still. Because the moon's supposed to be coming up here pretty quick. Anyway, I'll keep you apprised.
addendum. Well, if you've been watching my videos lately, you know that I just bought a mono guide camera. Been having a few issues with it, trying to figure out the settings because I haven't been getting the stars that I thought I should be getting. I used the Troop Tech drivers that were built in the PhD2 because that's what you think you should do. Um, but no matter what I tried, I could never get more than two or three stars. It's still working, but not good. So I downloaded the ASCOM drivers off the Troop Tech site and started using them. And lo and behold, all of a sudden I have stars. Multi-star guiding works great. Last night I averaged 0 0.89 arc seconds with guiding. So I'm letting it run with that for a minute. I haven't tried any other adjustments yet. I'm just going to work with that for a second. Then I might start fiddling about with the settings in PhD2 and see if I can get lower. Anyway update okay in conclusion i think that i've opened up a lot more sky that i'll be able to shoot uh pretty much go straight up and down without crashing i think it'll actually even work with my big telescope so thumbs up there i think i got the guiding camera figured out for the most part, I still need to tweak it a little bit, I think. I can maybe get some better guiding. Uh, the best I've got so far over a night, probably about 8 or 0.84. So that's pretty good. The new computer seems to be a bit peppier. So thanks for watching so far. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me dad advice. I could always use some improvement, I'm sure. Let me know what you think. I was able to spend a little bit of time on a target, so check out the pretty picture at the end, and I'll talk to you later, and as always, clouds suck.